while in this. I do understand. Man is born of a woman. And is of a few days. And they full of trouble. But there is a weapon that you and I can use that distracts the enemy. That will cause him to destroy himself. And it's called praise. It's called praise. Can I help y'all with something? Let me tell you something. People think you get upset because they won't praise God. But I got some news for you. Tell your neighbor it only take three. Look at somebody else say it only take three. I ain't mad if you don't praise him. Because one shall chase a thousand. Two shall put ten thousand to flight. And a three-four cord is not easily broken. Look at somebody and tell them all I need is one more person and the Holy Ghost. And we can turn this lover out. Praise those angels for coming your presence. Praise cause the enemy to be silenced. Praise cause your debtors to forget about your debt. Praise cause your mortgage lenders to get off your back. Praise. Tell your neighbor, you know why you stay bound? Say, I ain't picking on you, but you know why you stay bound? You don't know how to get a praise on. You don't know how to get a praise on. The Bible says that a merry heart does good like a medicine. I ain't gonna get no help up in here. This is what I love about the Psalms. In Psalms 150, he closes that thing out. He said, praise him on the high sounding symbols. When you go through the seven Hebrew words, he got a few more words in there that tell you Necrom, Necrom means that I praise God on symbols. See, we don't understand yet how effective praise is. When you come in the house of God and you praise God, the enemies are being fought by the angels outside of the house. You got liberty to praise in here while your situation is being dealt with by angels out there. Let me try that again. Somebody missed that. While you at church and you got all the problems, the angels are fighting your problems while you in here giving God praise. God said you ain't got to fight this time. All you got to do is show up. You ain't got to fight. All you got to do is show up. Tell somebody, say, just show up. Now high five somebody and tell them, say, man, you awesome. You are awesome. You are so awesome. You showed up. <laughs> you ain't even got to fight. You showed up. You showed up. Come on, mama. Put that thing there. We showed up. All we had to do was show up. That's why I said what I said earlier. I said, tell your neighbor you're special. You're somebody special. You made it to the house of God. Enemies was on every side. Can't find the baby's shoe. This one don't know what to do. Husband acting a fool. Wife acting crazy. Can't boyfriend tripping. Baby getting sick. And I still gotta get to the house because God told me this ain't your battle today I just need you to get to the house I just need you to get there I just need you to get there you just need to get there and you just need to understand that if somebody says Shabbat you say what? Hallelujah. So, if I said Shabbat in Hebrew, you would say, Hallelujah. And the enemy would say, what they doing? Tell them to stop. Tell them to stop. And I said, oh, you want us to stop Shabbat? He said, no, 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 no. Cut it out. Cut it out. I'm getting sick. 
Shabbat. Amen. He said, no, please don't say that no more. And then I say, you no. Sanctified soul. I've been built up. I'm ready to fight. 